What's up, dude? It's Church back with another one today. We're about to go rip on the M10 4 right here. Like every day, dude. Every day this week, I've gone to find trails to go ride on it. I'm gonna post the one from today um, in particular. I took the new um, the new camera setup out there, and it should be some great footage, guys. Got a new wind sock on that microphone, and it should be no wind noise, and should just be awesome. And I did a little bit of like actual commentary out in the field while I was riding it. So I'm just gonna do that. We're gonna go on a full on um, mountain bike trail ride on this little guy right here and see what it can do. It's incredible, guys. At the end of the trail, I actually passed a mountain biker. He looked like he was knew, knew what he was doing, had a full nice setup with suspension, and I came flying by him on the M104 right here, and uh, he was able to just keep macking the trails, no problem on it. And dudes, I ended up finishing the entire loop you're about to see right here. So whenever I started this loop, I had full charge. Whenever I ended this loop, I had minus one bar of battery that was it i don't know exactly my voltage exactly my percentage i didn't look at any of that i came back and i've already charged it up since then but i'd only dropped one battery and the ride you're about to see right here so there's not really many cuts at all in this ride and this is exactly what you can expect to, in riding this thing to drop only one bar of battery now for a heavier rider you might drop more, but that's all I dropped in this entire little 40 minute trail ride. And it's because with trail riding on these things, guys, it really doesn't use a ton of battery. If you're just cruising along, varying your speed, and especially like I did, I helped it up a lot of the big inclines and stuff that were just ridiculous to try to ride this thing up. And so I was able to get a lot, a lot of range out of it. But this thing's a total blast, man. It really is. It's, it's incredible. That little thing right there, Went whipping past a $3,000 mountain bike setup today. Just crushing it with no suspension and a 10 inch or 11 inch wheel. Um, but anyways, dudes, let's get into the video. It's a cool one. What's up, dude? It's Chooch. I might do uh, two parts of this ride, but this is like the first, uh, this is like the first half of this trail. I ended up riding for about 45 minutes on this little wheel out here and only dropped that one bar of battery on, on th this entire little ride out here. You can really tell this thing um, is a lot of fun on trails. It really, I mean, you can ride it comfortably faster than a one wheel. I, I'm pretty sure, like even the best uh, one wheel riders, I, I think it's just the stance, guys, because the wheel on this is about the same size as like a one wheel GT, if you really think about it. I mean, it seriously is about the same size. But I think that just your stance, being able to um, jump up in the air, um, well, if you're, if you're riding like a one wheel with flight fins, you can definitely jump and pop over uh, rocks and stuff on the trails. And those are the best one wheel riders, people that can jump and hop over rocks and stuff on the trails. Um, that use the flight fins basically to, to be able to do that. But I feel like from what I've seen at the one wheel races and what I'm what I'm feeling riding this thing on the trails, I'm, I'm really feeling like this is riding faster than a one wheel gt even though i'm you know a new rider on this i love a fresh trail like this man it's nice and compact and i was riding some other stuff a minute ago it was just terrible trails i was riding on my hipster pro and then i came over here these are way better particular wheel right here i feel like i mean seriously what you get right here is something with more range and can be ridden faster um with a I would say less experience. Um, now the learning curve on it does, on electric unicycles, I feel like the learning curve maybe feels a little bit longer. But I, I mean, you can you can learn this just as fast as a one wheel, and for one third of the price, basically, man, like this is 
it, I mean, it rips, dude. Like, I, there's no way I, with a year of practice, that I could ride a one wheel. Like, I, you have to be riding at top speed all out really not messing up at all to be able to ride it as proficiently as I'm riding this little thing on this trail. Just because you have to worry about that nose diving into rocks and like right there you'd have to hang up on the one wheel unless you were able to ollie over all that. Dude, but ultimate, like I'm not saying that like a great it. one wheel GT rider couldn't so come through here full sin, no problem. But I am saying that, that like for the awesome. typical person that just wants to get into riding like a PEV on trails and stuff, this is a, I mean, the cheapest option you can get for something that comes with, uh, I mean, unless you're getting something used, if you want to get a brand new Bego wheel that can take on trails and stuff, just to see. Dude, this thing is just crushing these trails, bro. I've gotten really comfortable on it. Kind of get you dabble into it, get your foot to go into the hobby. I think this is a great way to do it. I mean, you see right here, it's not the fastest thing in the world, but it really is a ton of fun. And I was able to go out here and ride trails and, and have a, a blast for hours and not worry about, you know, the battery life. Uh, these are some, I mean, this is legit trail riding, guys, on mountain bike trails on this little wheel. And this is what I really like doing on it. I rode it in the city, and I can tell you I much prefer, I don't know why, I think this is, this is, the, this the, thing is by far the most fun thing you can do with this little wheel is ride mountain bike trails on it. And I thought it would be ridiculous at first, and I just wanted to see if it could be done, but it's my favorite thing to do with this wheel now. I don't know why. It, it rips, though. It's so much fun, dude. Anyways, this little um, this little trail is a blast. I'm going to have some commentary in the video. Uh, stay tuned to check out this epic, epic trail ride right here. It's a lot of fun. so much fun. I'm loving it, dude. I'm loving it. If you want to pick up one of these things, it's a $500 deposit. Link below through eWheels, guys. You put in your $500 bucks right now, and whenever this thing arrives at port, you get an email saying, hey, send over it your $650 is your remaining balance or whatever. So $500 to pre-order this thing right now, and then whenever it lands at port, you just 650 bucks, dude. So it's real simple. It literally breaks it up into two payments, basically, to buy this thing. Total price on it is only 1,150 bucks. I think it's a steal for this little unicycle right here. I think it's a great price for this thing. A great beginner wheel or a great um, just novelty wheel for you know advanced riders to have to do cool stuff with. And that's going to be um, shipping out in uh, December. So. Put in your pre-orders, it should be shipping out next month for sure. And uh, it's a sick little wheel. 1,000 watt motor in this thing. 11 inch, you can get the knobby tire or the street tire, whichever one you want. I like the knobby tire. I think it looks good and rides good. But anyways, dude, check them out. Um, links below to buy one. I'm gonna put the link to buy it in the top of the comment section. So check on, check it there.
adventures. Yeah, I'm doing full walls, full scale mountain bike trails on the M10 Ford. Full like full length mountain bike trails on this little thing. This is crazy. shot up to 50 and now it's just dove back down it has to be below 30 or getting near below 30 now This little thing looks interesting to you or you want to pick one up for your kid i think it'll make a great christmas gift for you know all all ages it really will um, anybody will love one of these if you're into the euc hobby or if you want to get somebody into the hobby uh, if you want to pick one up links below guys to get one top link in the comments uh, if you use that link i greatly appreciate it and i will see you dudes in the next one cheers <laughs>